Okay. Hi guys, Janet here with the Mummy and the Monkey YouTube channel. This is a behind the scenes how-to video. And in today's video, we're gonna show you how to wrap up something breakable and fragile. This is some type of uh, very collectible uh, Hollow Haza Hungary. It's a figurine, a porcelain figurine. So I have a box, I have paper, I have bubble wrap. I've got tape. So first, we're gonna wrap this up like a burrito and we're gonna do layers of paper and bubble wrap. So for the first layer, we're gonna do paper. We're gonna wrap it up. Wrap it up in the paper. Then we're gonna take some of this bubble wrap and we're gonna do a layer of bubble wrap. And this is perforated, there we go. So this breaks. And I'm gonna take that and go probably long ways with it. I'll show you what I did here. See, long ways to make sure the bubble wrap covers everything. And then I'm gonna tape it down a little bit. So I've got my tape. And we're gonna tape this down and I'll show you what I did with it. So there's that. And then we're gonna add more paper. So there's more paper. And I use a lot of recycled materials. This is recycled paper or repurposed, reused, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, reuse a lot of packing material. Here's some more paper. There we go. And I'm gonna wrap that up in some more paper. And just make sure it's covered up real good. Because when these get shipped out, I mean, they, they kick these around. They, they treat it like a football or something. So I'm just going to check my box here to see if that's tall enough. And it isn't. So I'm going to have to Frankenbox something, meaning I'm going to have to add more cardboard to the top. Or maybe get a box that's a little bit longer to fit this properly and you want to make sure the cardboard is sturdy you don't want cardboard that's going to be flimsy and break or like um smash easily you want cardboard that you think is going to be you know it's going to hold up okay so there's that i think this paper is good and then we're going to add more bubble wrap but first i'm going to tape some of that paper down so it stays in place you want to make sure it stays in place So this figurine sold for $39.99 plus shipping. The buyer used my 20% off coupon. So what's 20% of $39.99? I think they got like eight bucks off. So it sold for like 32 plus shipping, which I still think is fine. I, I think I picked this figurine up at a, at a thrift store for maybe four or $5. I don't remember um, spending a lot on it. So I'm okay with um, putting a sale out there, people using the coupons, making offers. I'm okay with it selling for less if I'm still going to make something on it. Because ideally, you want things to sell in your store. You want things to move. You got to keep it moving. Okay, so I'm definitely going to add a cardboard to the top of this box. As you can see, um, he's too tall <laughs> with all the packing and stuff. So I'm going to have, and there's a little bit of space in between. I don't know if you could see that in the light, but when there's space in between there, you want to stuff that with paper or bubble or something. You, when you're packing up something breakable, you don't want it to be moving around and shaking around, um, when it gets shipped out. See how that's moving? You want to make sure that that guy is going to stay put and he's not going nowhere. So let's add some more paper in between. There's some more paper. And he's all wrapped up in a burrito. He's a happy little porcelain figurine in a little shipping burrito. Paper and bubble wrap burritos. Okay, um, I have to go get some more paper. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I found more paper, 
<laughs> and there's still a little bit of space in between. We don't want this figurine moving around. You don't want them moving around during shipping. So we're gonna stuff some more paper in between and stuff some stuffing on top. And then what I'll have to do is um, like tape this down and put cardboard on top. We're gonna give them a cardboard hat. So we made a uh, burrito out of them and we're gonna give them a cardboard hat. So let's get this going. it real good. All right. He is getting stuck. <laughs> we'll add a little bit more on top and then I'm going to tape up the top. Sometimes we have to do something called Frankenboxing. Um, this is two eBay boxes taped together. The cardboard is sturdy, so it's okay to do it. I've done it before with breakables. As long as the cardboard is sturdy, you're okay. All right, and we're going to tape this up. I'll have to flip it sideways real quick. Or, uh, yeah, move it over to do this real quick. And just, boop, like that. So, see, I'm taping it up, taping it together. There we go. So this is great. Even if you're not an eBay seller, maybe you want to send something breakable to a loved one for a present. Maybe you're mailing something that's, you know, very special and it needs to be wrapped up good and, and needs to be protected. Well, this is how you would do it. This is one way of doing it. We're going to add more. We're going to add more paper in there. See, I taped up that top flap taped up my flaps. All right, we're going to add some more paper. We're going to smoosh it, smoosh in that paper. Okay, so that's pretty good. So I'm going to take cardboard probably from this box and fit it on top there. I'm probably gonna just, um, here, there's a seam there. I see that seam, I just popped it, boop, just like that. And then I'm gonna probably cut like this piece out to put it on top. If I could find my scissors, where my scissors go? Oh no, here they are. I found them, okay. So. I'm cutting those. Some people use uh, a utility knife, like a box cutter knife. That's totally okay. You could do that also. Um, I like to use scissors most of the time, just regular scissors. There we go. Um, so there's that. It's not a perfect fit, you know, but I can tape that and tweak it and it'll be okay. Um, so I'm going to tape up that top really good, make sure it's sturdy, and uh, then it's good to ship out. So hopefully this video helps you guys out. It's definitely good um, if you have friends and neighbors, maybe you're also a seller, or maybe you just send breakable things to loved ones. Um, save paper, save bubble wrap. These little air pockets are good too for breakable items. You can order boxes from eBay. You can get free boxes from like your local uh, grocery store, you know, or, or local store. If you see someone stocking shelves and they have a bunch of empty boxes in their cart, just say, hey, you know, is it okay if I uh, take these boxes? I need them. And most of the time they're okay with it. You know, most of the time they're like, sure, take all the boxes. I don't want to take them back to the baler. Um, for padded mailers, I order them on eBay usually. You can also get them off of Amazon and other sites like that. But yeah, hopefully that helps. If you guys have any questions, comments, put them in the comments section below on our YouTube here. And thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>